Asia, the world's largest and most diverse continent, covers approximately 30% of the Earth's land area. It's currently the most populous, totaling 4.7 billion people, equivalent to 60% of the world's population. Asia's unique geographical scope spans over three zones. It begins from the north and central zone of the Siberia region of Russia. It continues through the southwest zone of the Middle East and the Arabian Peninsula, ending at the southeast zone of China to Indonesia. Furthermore, Asia is well known for being the birthplace of all the world's major religions, namely Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, and many minor ones. There is a minority of 12.6% Christians. The alarming 87.4% of lost souls implores Christians everywhere to mobilize and reach Asia with the proclamation and demonstration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. A decade ago, CMFI was able to establish the gospel of Jesus Christ to the unreached, marginalized, and neglected Kui people of Cambodia. The Vinovo Mission Center, the headquarters for CMFI Cambodia, and the newly established Global Compassion Health Clinic stand as pillars of God's faithfulness and the unwavering faith of God's people. This year, 2022, the year of supernatural increase, earmarks another mission push towards Cambodia's new unreached Ratanaki province. Greetings to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to be able to bring to you highlights of what God is doing here in the mission field of Cambodia. What you are about to hear are answers to your prayers and the fruit of your giving. In April of this year, we will be crossing over to a province called Ratanakiri to set up a new mission base. The province is located on the northeastern part of Cambodia, bordering Vietnam to the east and Laos to the north. This province has nine districts and is home to 11 unreached people's groups. The district of Bonsai is our target area and has been identified to have four unreached people's groups. The groups are the Krang, the Chinese, the Lao, and the Brown. We have heard of stories of missionaries packing their bags and leaving this area or this region because it's been difficult and it's been hard to live amongst the people. We found this as a great opportunity to take in the very life of Christ and the very presence of God to bring forth healing and bring forth hope to those who are lost. We believe that this is the right place to establish the work of God so that more people will be won back to the kingdom and to make more disciples as we are called to do. We thank God for this great opportunity to train more leaders to reach out to the locals so that they can stand up and reach out to their very own people. We are one in this and we thank God for your prayers and we thank God for your giving that together we will be able to win as many to the kingdom of God. Thank you very much for praying for us and thank you very much for giving towards the work here in Cambodia. Because you gave and because you prayed, we are able to reach out to more unreached people's group that are still lost out there. And we thank God that God alone will be glorified and God alone will be magnified Thank you very much, and may God bless you. In 2014, Pastor Vambi from Myanmar became associated with CMFI, thus extending CMFI's presence. Like the early church's growth in the Book of Acts, CMFI Myanmar pastors Vambi, Bielesa, and the church planters continue house-to-house -house visitation with the zeal of Christ. They brave the odds of COVID restrictions, 
persecution, and the current political upheaval to make Christ Jesus known. Greetings from Myanmar. By the grace of God, the ministry is going well in the midst of restriction of the COVID and the political situation. We are so blessed to partner with CMFI to reach our rich group people in Myanmar. Church planter who are supported by the CMFI working in Jango region, Erwanda region, and Rakhai state. There have been a lot of restrictions in the last year. We can't have worship service, but for God's to families to family, and have fellowship with them, and show Jesus to them. Church planter could show their love to them by giving back of rice oil and other groceries to the needy family of the church members and the needy family of in the community and they have and, and open their house and we can enter to their house and preach the gospel thanks for your prayer and support because of your prayer and support we can stand in the midst of difficulties to reach the people in Myanmar with the gospel. May God bless the family of CMFI. Thank you. Palawan of the Philippines is a place CMFI missionary Viliami Roklekai, together with Bishop Jun Vigonte and Associated Pastors Mark and Gray Solak of Zion Christian Mission Fellowship International, they have witnessed divine fruition and growth. Mabuhay, greetings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In our first Mission Sunday in the year 2022, focusing on the continent of Asia. First of all, I would like to take this time to thank God for His faithfulness, continuing provision, continuing protection, and His great grace that has never left us since we arrived in this nation of the Philippines in the province of Palawan eight years ago. Thank you so much for your time this morning and we thank God for his great grace that enable us to be here doing mission work training teaching discipling the Filipinos not only to know God not only to know Jesus but they're able to make him known to their families to their other tribes to their nations here in the Philippines in the Philippines, there are more than 105 million population and more than 7,000 islands. And I'm here in, the, in almost more than 82 provinces. In Palawan, there are more than 700 islands where I am doing or I am based from. And we thank God for the pastor here, Rizal Minister here, Bishop Jun Bigonte, his dear wife, and all the board members of Zion Christian Mission Fellowship International for their support towards our stay here, working together, expanding the kingdom of God, training, teaching, making disciple, discipling every leaders, every pastors, every church member, so that they can able to reach their own kind and teach them through Filipino words or according to their own dialect. So, Thank you once again, CMFI family, Zion family. Thank you so much for all the families. On behalf of my family here, me, my wife, Randini, my two children, we want to say thank you, a big vinaka vagaliv, for your great support, tireless support, through prayers, the mission support, through covenant partners, mission offering, every mission Sunday, because of your giving, because of your prayer, you are able to reach the unreached within these eight years as missionary work here in the province of Palawan in the nation of the Philippines. Your support, your prayers, your mission offering has enabled us to reach unreached tribes, has enabled us to clothe naked, has enabled us to feed the hunger, has enabled us to show the way, to teach the way, to show them that there is hope in Jesus. Thank you once again, my families, CMFI families. We salute you. We thank you for your love and your grace. 
I want to encourage you today. I just want to challenge you once again. Please, continue giving. Continue praying. Continue going. Because the harvest is ripe. When you give, when you pray, when you go, you are involving in the heartbeat of God. That is why CMF, I, family, mission is our priority. Thank you once again. And God bless us all. Binakamalevo. Blessed Mission Sunday this morning. Binaka. Asia, a continent of many languages and a land of diversity is coming to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. The Great Commission must be fulfilled. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come. Matthew 24, 14. Together we can make a difference. Thank you for your prayers and generous giving towards world mission. Asia for Jesus.